All right, it's time for another edition of Hitting the Books as we look towards a very intriguing slate of games for Sunday on week five of NFL action and time to talk some of the best bets. We're going to do that with one of the best sports betting analysts in the game, the one and only Chantel Shan, who joins me now. Chantel, how's it going? It's going good, Dex. Always fun talking football with you. Yeah, always fun talking football. I can't believe we're at week five already. It's just season is blowing by. But uh, let's get right into it. and Let's start with the Giants, who are the biggest underdogs of the week. They will be in Miami to face the Dolphins. The G-Men, they are 11 and a half point underdogs heading into this matchup. Over under for this one is at 47 and a half. Are you betting the spread here, the over under, or are you believing in the Giants riding the ship and hitting a tantalizing plus 500 money line. What are you going with, Chantel? 11 and a half, that's a big spread. And normally when I see a number like that, I'm thinking Vegas is trying to trick us here. But the Dolphins coming off a tough loss against Buffalo. And then the Giants, they really couldn't get anything going against Seattle. That offense is not looking good at all. And Miami, they're going to want a bounce back game. When you take a look at their offense, Waddle and Hill, they're going to do some major work this weekend because the Giants have two rookie corners in that secondary and Trey Hawkins and Deontay Banks, and I think that's a tough task for them. It's going to come down to will the Giants offense be able to keep up with this Miami offense? And I just think despite the fact that the Dolphins defense has been inconsistent at times, I don't think the Giants offense is going to get much going against this Miami defense. So I am going to lay the 11 and a half with the Dolphins. Wow. It's big spread. Laying the 11 and a half with the Dolphins, which tells me no confidence in the Giants offense or defense <laughs> getting it done at all. All right, let's talk about the other New York team here. The Jets, they are also on the road. They travel to Denver to battle the Broncos. And like the Giants, the Jets, they are road dogs. But Denver is only favored by two and a half in a battle of one in three teams. Over under here is 43 and a half. What's the best play here, Chantel? Yeah, both teams only have one win right now. They're both looking for their second win of the season. And when you talk about the Jets, they could have won their last game against the Chiefs if some calls went their way, some really bad calls in that game. I thought Zach Wilson played well enough to win that game for his squad as well. Denver's defense is just absolutely brutal to Dex. Their pass defense is, I think, at the bottom of the league, as is their rush defense. So I think Guys like Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, Dalvin Cook are going to have major field days. They're going to have themselves a day on the field. And I think the Jets defense is going to slow down this Denver offense. So I'm going to take the Jets to cover in this one. All right, taking the Jets to win this one. I like some of those players you mentioned for props. I have Brees Paul in one of my props this week. I think he'll run wild over the Broncos. We will see. So in the late afternoon slate on Sunday, we'll see the undefeated Eagles. They travel to L.A. to face off with the Rams. The Eagles, they're four-point road favorites. I know you think that this is an interesting matchup, especially with how competitive Los Angeles has been through the first four weeks. What's your best bet for this matchup? Well, these are two top offenses in the league that are going to be going head to head. Two top five offenses, might I add. The Rams have looked decent, but they haven't actually looked great. And then you take a look at Philly decks and there's two wins that they have that is a little bit questionable. That game against Washington and the game against the Vikings. Those were two games that they could have lost, but they got it done. So Philly hasn't even hit their stride yet, but they're still winning games. Cooper Cup is going to be back with the Rams. And of course, Matthew Stafford coming back this week, uh, dealing with a bit of a hip contusion. Of course, we've seen Matthew Stafford play with injuries before, but when you think about this Eagles D-line stacked up against this Rams O-line, I think the Eagles defense is going to be way too much. I see Philly getting this W against the Rams. I don't think they take their first hell of the season, so I'm going to lay the points with Philly. All right, laying the points with the Eagles there in that matchup. And lastly, Let's look at Sunday Night Football. Easily the matchup of the week. Probably the most anticipated matchup of the season thus far. 3-1 Cowboys versus the 4-0 Niners in the Bay, San Francisco. Your three-and-a-half point home favorite here over under at 45. Are you a believer in Dak Prescott and Dallas, or is it Brock Purdy and the Niners that you're rocking with here? This is going to be a great game, Dex. When you take a look at the 49ers, they are top five in offense and defense. They've been playing great on both sides of the ball. As for Brock Purdy, he's not making any mistakes. He has four touchdowns, no interceptions. That is a great ratio. Dallas has looked good, but one thing that's for sure, their pass rush 
wins them games. And when you think about the rush defense, it's a little bit mid. So I think a guy like Christian McCaffrey is going to have himself a day. I think he's going to run all over that Dallas Cowboys rush defense. Micah Parsons, of course, is going to do Micah Parsons things. But I think the Niners are going to feed the ball to CMC. So I'm actually going to roll with Brock Purdy and the Niners, and I'm going to lay the points with them. All right, rolling with Brock Purdy and the Niners, and that one should be a good one on Sunday night. Football should be a good week five. There's some really interesting games, some really interesting matchups, and check it out and enjoy those games. It got the best bets that we heard from Chantel Shan, one of the best in terms of sports betting out there. Chantel, always great to talk NFL bets with you. Thank you for your time. Thanks so much for having me, Dex.